what's happening everybody Scott coming at you from the tackle shop here at saltwater scale models um, hope everybody's doing well out there um, I just wanted to uh, do my first update on the uh, Cadillac El Dorado um, I have made some significant progress um, you know if anybody out there is wondering why uh, I don't know I seem to get a lot done fast um, you have to remember I am disabled and uh, after my stroke I'm, I'm sort of resigned to a a wheelchair in the bottom floor of my house uh, I can't do stairs so um, I really have a lot of free time on my hands so anyways um, let me give you let's get going here oh yeah and if you stick if you stay tuned till the end um, I'll try to make it brief but I have got a sneak peek of the new paint job cellophane paint job uh, on the 64 Impala and I think you're gonna like it so all right uh, let's see um, start with the engine and the chassis as you can see the kit comes with these great red lines um, nothing too spectacular I just really kept it real clean sort of you know I was looking at a lot of Chip Fusa stuff and um, he doesn't do a lot anything crazy so I just went the body color and then uh, chrome silver um, just real simple and nice uh, let me turn this around here I've got the uh, the engine in and uh, the distributor wired so that's good got that going on um, uh, gloss the uh, gloss the engine uh, so really really happy with the way this is going together so far one issue I did have I want to show you guys uh, I don't think it's me um, but this these axles um, unless I'm a total meathead which is quite possible uh, there is physically no way to get it through um, the way the engine sits when you put it through the uh you know the this the support holes for it it runs right into the engine i mean i tried everything i could possibly think of and i mean the engine sits perfect right where it's supposed to and there's absolutely no way for that thing to go through so let me know if anybody else runs into that problem or if i'm just an idiot um so what i did is i took a toothpick and just clipped off the ends and glued them on there just so i had a a, a post you know something to uh just something to guide it so I could get them on even so there's that uh, the interior is going to be uh, just like just like Foose's car the um, uh, the colors aren't the same, exactly the same but um, uh, it's the body color and I used um, uh, it's all folk arts um, a, a coffee uh, coffee coffee latte so I got that uh, bare metal for the door handle um, speakers black I am going to use the Molotow to put a nice little rim around the around the speaker so that's done um, the uh, dash nothing spectacular same thing body color body color and chrome just as it called for and I just use the decal it's a little crooked um, I just noticed but um, I'm just gonna have to live with it so nothing too uh, too special there just uh, just real straight ahead let me uh, let me get this out of the way here. I'll give you a look at the body. Um, the body is it is clear coated. Um, well, let me show you the roof first. The roof is I did in a it's actually a Martha Stewart if you can believe that uh, um, uh, craft acrylic. It's called it's, uh, satin. Um, I did just notice here that while it was drying, some crud got on it. So um, I'm gonna have to uh, have to sand this down and do it again. Yahoo! Um, but I, I think the colors together are, are great um, and then with the interior coffee it just sort of ties it all in so well I'm gonna have to sand that down yep no it's not coming off I have to sand that down and then I have to bare metal foil that so that's where we are with that um, the body has been clear coated uh, I had it's got it's got some texture to it but um, not much um, so I'm going to, uh, I'm just about to get started, uh, 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 wet sanding and then, uh, and then we'll polish her up. So we're coming along real well, man. So I hope you like what you're seeing. I'm really happy with it. Uh, um, just really a fun build. I love this car and, uh, so far everything has been going well except for those axles. Um, so, oh yeah, one thing I, I started using these, I just picked these up. Uh, I'll show you, show you what I did with them, but these to me uh sponges these sanding sponges man i love these things um i like them so much better than wet sanding with with uh 
you know, I was just using wet sanding paper and, you know, they're flexible, they bend, you can get into places that they're not harsh on the edges. I mean, you still have to watch the edges, but um, they just, uh, they're just great. I really like them, so I would highly recommend trying them out. Okay, well, that was quick. Um, uh, yeah, well, here we go, guys. Uh, sneak peek. Um, the, uh, the body's not quite ready for paint yet. I mean, it's, it's in the silver, but it... Uh, um, I had to do it a few times to get the right texturing. So here is the 64 Chevy Impala cellophane technique and the new color. Bam! Um, I went with yellow. It's a yellow candy. Um, I thought it might highlight the, uh, just highlight the figuring a little more. i um, really, really happy with it. Uh, I just finished uh, using the Novus uh, 321 system. Polished it out and uh, got a really nice shine to it got no no flash I mean <laughs> flash duh no um, no orange peel um, it just turned out great so if um, the body turns out as well I'll be I'll be really really happy so it's I think it's uh, I think it's really gonna be cool and um, stay tuned for uh, an update on this let me show you the trunk the trunk turned out just as well um, nice nice figuring um, just what I was looking for Let's see if I can well, you can see the shine, or see some of the figuring. You know, I get that at an angle that um, you can see it. But yeah, it's it's great, man. It's gonna be really cool. But yeah, stay tuned for some updates on this. There's gonna be one coming soon. I have got some surprises. Um, I've decided to uh, to do a couple things with it um, um, that I think are really gonna really make it pop. So, all right, guys. You know, as always, peace, love, and happiness. Um, uh, you know, thank you to all my subscribers. You guys are great. Everybody who comments um, and everybody in the community, man. I'm just uh, really glad to be part of it. And uh, uh, I enjoy uh, your videos and I, I, I enjoy building every day. So hope you dug it, man. Um, yeah, stay tuned and look for that 64 Impala uh, video coming out. All right, guys. Thanks.